Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I was up late last night, could not sleep, and thought, what could I do? And what better than to open a childhood favourite in Pokemon Heart Gold and to do a playthrough. I recorded this on my phone, so I think the ratio might be a wee bit off, but I'm sure it'll just be some fun anyway. So, what we're going to set it up as, it's gonna, I'm going to have a random encounter, that means in the wild, walking through the, the grass, any Pokemon could spawn, and later on in the game, I'm going to set it up that it can be any level as well, just so I get a grasp of what the basics and all, because I haven't played this game in such a long time, but I have a beautiful intro, and that just brings it all back. This would have been the Pokemon Gold version, would have been the first game I would have played when I was younger. I missed out on the hour, but of course I picked it up. And here we go. We shall start. And it's not bad for a DS game, the graphics in this are quite amazing. And of course there's no info needed. We'll go, have to go through the long boring of setting up the the name, talking to everyone, especially that old man with his running shoes. Really does my head in. Okay, 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 we'll hurry up. Let's get the game started. I really wish games had like if you were a returning player, you could just skip all this. I know some people enjoy the cutscenes and truly playing the game from the start, but it's a bit too much. Must have took me about 20 minutes just selecting the character and then naming the character. But of course it's rather unfortunate here I try to try to support the channel, try to call myself Yugi Mans, but unfortunately there's not enough characters. Big sad. So had to just settle with just using my own name, since I'm the one that's playing it, so call myself Craig. Isn't that amazing? Yes, my name is Craig. Yes, hurry up, I am ready. Of course, on this, we're, we're going through this, we're going to be the best there ever was. And we're going to become Pokemon Masters. Although, I was also thinking with the random encounter, I could just, I could do a video where I just try and randomly encounter every single Pokemon in the Pokédex, but I'm sure the chances of encountering every single one, you're probably talking hours of gameplay. Yes, Mother. Thank you. Oh, another interaction. Oh, just let me play the game. Off we go to Oak's house. Well, the professor's lab. I've also set it up so that I can pick all three starters. Because I was sort of thinking I would just play through the game with them. But if I see a few random encountered Pokemon that look nice, like a Larvitar, I'll probably most likely catch it and use it. So yada yada yada. Professor's lab Pokemon, yeah, like every single game. Oh yeah, because that's what you emails and then you go the whole way up to see Professor Oak. And of course you have to pick the best starter for your first one, total down. Best Gen 2 starter, hands down. The Typhlosion's a close second, the, the Chikorita. Trash. Absolute trash. Its first two evolutions look fine, but Meganium just looks horrendous. Like, who, who picks up this game and thinks, I know what, star what starter I want? Chikorita. And Meganium. This does not happen, like. Let's go, there you go. All three starters. And of course I've got a female Chikorita, which is, I think, that's quite rare. I think with the, the Saxon of the starters, I think they're majority male, I think you've got a 10% chance of getting a female, which also 
leads to why they're so so little in population and that's why they're a starter because there's so many males to female so that's why they're rare so bet you didn't know that well it's just a fairy of course Off we go. Ah, oh, what do you want? Damn, right, let's just skip, skip. Ah, oh, of course, Professor L wants me as well. But it's for a phone number to phone me and tell me about Radataz and whatnot. It's Jamel. I mean, I, did, I didn't use the, the phone back in the early days of gold, I'm definitely not going to use it now. So we are off on our journey. First random encounter is... A hoot hoot? Well, what's the chances of that? That actually does spawn in this area. Alright. Time to, for Toto Dead to smash it, scratch it up nicely. I'm not too mind to turning off the move animations, but some of the move animations are pretty nice, so... I might just have to bear with me. I might just speed it up, so it's times two speed, maybe. Of course, this is new to me. It's the first time I've done this, so... I'm hoping the ratio is going to be good for... YouTube. And... Second random encounter is... Let's say, Jesus, that's going to be monstrous to take down, although I'll probably get some good XP from it. Level 3 Blessing, would you ever think you'd see the day? I've done literally nothing. Oh, it's critical, that. that's fine. Should be able to take this down. I would be half tempted to catch this, but I don't have Pokeballs unfortunately yet. Oh, it's getting close. Uh, hold on, that's fine. That is fine with me. Oh, my scratches are doing literally nothing. Five, it probably would have destroyed that total guy. Well, that's some nice XP at the end. Ah, yes, water gun. First stab move. Two levels from one Pokemon, that's pretty nice. Right, off we go. I'm gonna try and do maybe three random encounters per wild area. Of course, there'll probably be more, because. Random encounters are random. Oh no, I'll tell you, one should be easy to take down. Go on, total dead. Absolutely ragged. Yep, let's have some defense. Oh! Hang on, Beth Red. Ah, this is risky. Hoping for a critical hit here, but I doubt. Ah, no. Embarrassing. Stupid Nazi. Go on, Cyndaquil, you go in and finish the job for us here. Easy win. Oh, then another encounter. A slugma. Level 2. Probably not worth that much, I was pretty good. Sure. Up 
to level 69. Nice. There's nothing I love better than killing slugs. Persian. I think this will probably be hard. I'm pretty sure Persian has quite a high attack. Three different moves. I just, I just never understand why Pokemon is sort of like the it's like a wee, it's like a wheel of fortune scenario where they just spin it and whatever it lands on, that's the move that they use. There's never any strategy from what they're doing. Of course it's a cut your attack spine at the start of the game. Most of the Pokemon don't want to be attackers. They have the tackle, the scratch, the ah, that's probably about it. Level seven. Oh, not that old man. Will you rise me up? We're gonna skip this. I'm just gonna jump forward. Oh, he's coming back. I'll let him, I'll let him hear, I'll hear what he has to say and then I'll skip. There we go. Oh, what, not the old man again? People that start are just very generous, they just give you too much and they talk too much. I don't want that, I just want Pokemon, battling, and collecting my gym badges. It's all I want. Oh, here we go, here's another random encounter. What will we get? Budgie? Wait a minute, is that not like a Gen 3, Gen 4 Pokemon? Did they introduce the earlier gens in this game? Are the later gens in the other games for Harko? I never knew this. Oh, they absorb one though. Total die is gonna be bad. I know it's not too bad actually. I've never understood how a Pokemon can attack last and then attack first after with. I don't understand if it was quick attack, but I just never understand. Like, how could it be? Get in there. Then that attacks first. Bob of my mind. Bob, sure. There we go. Nice wee flower bud. Trampled. I don't want this man to get me. I'll, try, I'll walk up here. Oh, of course he comes out. I'll <sighs> go skipped. Now on to Professor Oak. Okay. Oh, what do we have now? Quite a lot of nice. Built and grow, it seems. Oh well. Fine. Don't want to bot you anyway, of course. Sorry, my controller sort of skipped there. Oh, there he is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to speed this probably up as well. There's a lot of talking. I'm not in this game for the story, I'm in this game for the random encounters. Mystery egg. Wonder where I came from. Comes a big man himself. Big Mr. Oak.
first phone call. Jesus. I really wish there was a cheat to deactivate this phone. Also, I think that the, the music in this game is amazing. Rebel battle incoming! There we go. I remember playing the earlier game. It would say question mark, question mark, question mark whenever you, you battled them. It says question mark, question mark. I, I, I can't remember, I think it said it here. That's your pie boy. And then whenever I got back to the lab, I called them question mark, question mark. Because that was the name, but I was young at the time. So I had to play for the game, fighting question mark, question mark, question mark. This total bed can't beat this chicory either. There's a nice wee send cloak waiting to come out. Get that you shit shit star. Of course my game is good in the in Pokemon Go it's quite strong, but the same Pokemon Go. You're wrong, that's us. We are the world's greatest Pokemon trainers. What a pointless interaction. Let's go. Back to the lab we go. Down tree. What are we gonna get here? Burmy. That's definitely a Gen 4 Pokemon, so it must it must go up to Gen 4. Learn something new every day. Protect, of course. Okay, that's the only move it knows is Protect. Uh, we'll just skip this in. There we go. Some policeman just instantly, and the first person to walk in just suspect him. Excellent. Of course, here I'm just trying to. There's, there's nothing worse to Yugi mains than bad pulls, but not enough characters, so unfortunately. Just get my way around this keyboard. Bad pull. Can't fit it in. Doesn't sound good, so. Back in my other days, me and my cousin were always sort of playing the gallery, so because he just so happens to have red hair, I always call my rival in Gold and Silver, Glenn, which is the name of my cousin. I have no idea who this Lyra character is, but... Speed it up here. One of the random encounters here. I've always wondered if the uh, the Tokopi that you hatch can be shiny. Also, it'd be nice to maybe encounter a few shiny Pokemon along the way, especially since there'll be random encounters as well. But I don't know how that plays for shiny odds in this game. Look at that total there, it just looks amazing following me. There he goes. 
Oh no. I'm just glad once I get out of this. Once you start gym battling, you don't get all these like hand walks. Yeah, interesting, just jumping that grass. Nice. Yes, I know how to catch Pokemon. I've been playing this game for 15 years, maybe. Oh, what the hell is this? No way! <laughs> Alright, Quasa. Level 2. <laughs> Did I get Pokeballs there? Uh, this is this would be one of it, like to add them a party. Not many people can say they've got a level 2 Ray Quasa in their party. I wasn't expecting that to do that much damage. I'm expecting this to do quite a lot of damage. No, not too bad. Should I risk it? Let's do it. Oh, no! Oh, crap. Oh, well. Was it a nice animation for it? I, d I didn't know they had different animations for legendaries, but there we go. That marks our first legendary encounter out of must be 480 Pokemon. Tyrog. Never really cared for this evolution. But I suppose it did introduce baby Pokemon into the entry. Some of them are pretty cool, like, but I just don't really like Tyrog. It's just a night. It was more so that it's just a nightmare to evolve. Because higher attack, it's Hitmon Chan, I believe. Higher speed, it's Hitmon Lee. And then if they're equal, or it's defense maybe, if they're equal in the tip on top. What have we got here? We have a Crowbot. Our gold body. So one thing I'm hoping that I don't randomly encounter, at least that's the good thing about settings for random encounters. When I'm in caves it'll not be Zubat, Golbat, Zubat, Golbat. It'll be maybe a Golbat and Zubat, but hopefully not as much. That's the most annoying thing about this game. Especially the rabbit are right? They're everywhere. I went down pretty easy, let's go down level 9, so take that go back. Fuck you. There we go, level 10. Nice. Might switch over Pokemon to try and keep them even, especially to pick up this early XP. Taylor. That's definitely Gen 4 Pokemon. Still not know this game went that far. I suppose it's on the um Yeah, so I suppose all you could probably transfer all the Pokemon it is. It wasn't really didn't really play black or white. So I might do a playthrough of them. And Diamond and Pearl I think might have been the last one I fully played. That yeah, was a thing for most for black and white. Or black and white too. I'll do a few more encounters here. I'm not sure if I just scratch this, there's not much money from water going on because it's resisted. I'll do another one, maybe another two. Oh, there he is! Chewy, 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 chewy! I, I, this, this is just became one of my favourite Pokemon. If, you, if you've ever played like Sword and Shield when you're driving about in one of the, the big open areas, you just hear Snover. Like, it could just be quiet, and then you just hear Chewy, chewy! It's pretty brilliant. One of the best things about Sword and Shield, or uh, Sword and Shield is Snover. In the wild area. Best Pokemon. Also looks pretty cool. Although the, the sprite for this looks quite I don't know, quite sinister. Looks a bit a bit evil. So we're just getting the ball. Oh 
And you can notice that the, the female has an alter form where it has like the white stripe going across. If it was male, that white stripe wouldn't be there. It would, it would have more sort of like bark exposed than the, the snow fur sort of carry on that it has going on. Is that a key on? I think I'll add this to my party. I really love Snowbird. I love its cry. It's one of my favourite cries. I'd say my top cry would probably be Aerodactyl. It sounds so cool. I think it's shared with Nido King as well, but it's such an epic sound. Have a good tree. Have some water. Make you grow big and strong. Frankly, I couldn't kill it. It's actually doing more damage with the heal than actually attacking. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully this puts it to bed now. And just like that, we now have a snover added to party. Let's go snover. as well. I actually miss cutting this in editing. I doubt many people want to watch Pokemon get healed, but this will be the first time you'll see it. You can hear that beautiful Pokemon Center music. Alright, let's go Total Dead. And we are off. Well... Oh, since Chikorita hasn't got much love, I'll put it to the front of the party. <laughs> Pilot Swine, this might be difficult. Ice and Ground, originally. Ah, oh, I don't even have the original. Tag what it is. Don't basically nothing. Oh, no. That's quite strong. Pack? Some move for those Pokemon house? Does that mean you can evolve it in this game? That was the evolution of Pilot Snow introduced in Gen 4. Pack Pilot Snow, Air Sleuth. It's got four full moves for being level 4, it's pretty good. At least. Oh no. Grind that'll probably kill me. Oh, this is one of my moves. Four moves. Interesting. I'm hoping for some big XP from this. Let's check readers out. Razor Leaf, nice. That would have come in handy. Pre this battle. Ach, no, not the Rattata. Joy. Of course, I'll not be taking his phone number. All he does is phone me and talk about that bloody Rattata. If anyone wants to hear it, I'll just keep on talking about it hard. Resort. You did, sir. You did. Of course in the game I like to get them before they get me. I hate them it's coming so I'll always try and click on them before they see me and come and get me. So here we go. Youngster Joey and his Rattata. I might actually have a wee look through the cheat library and see if I can also make the trainer Pokemon around them and also their levels around them. It might make it a bit more interesting because the trainer battles are awful. Oh, 
Hard no. Hard no. No chance. Didn't get the chance to fight me again. I'll just skip him. I will dodge this trainer. In fact, no, I didn't. Oh, not even a trainer. So here we go. Another encounter. And we have... Three guy? Flip, I didn't get a, a really... Got a different tune, but it wasn't as epic as Rayquaza though. Maybe I'll just have a party. Might, at the end of this, I'll try and catch the remainder of their Pokemon through random encounters. Oh, probably the ages. Okay, one more tackle. Hopefully, they don't kill us like they were Let's go here. To the only way best Pokemon knows. I'm surprised it doesn't run away in the earlier game with Brom, unless it's just the Dewey encounter. Two Pokeballs. Oh. Lear. Sort of like Pokeball, no way. I'm not getting caught by one lamb. So last, last ball magic here, let's see if we can catch it. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, he's out. Not bad. Good chance next to round and we can't find him. I'll just kill you, sir. Data Chikorita. That is actually scary looking. It's, it's the red eyes. It's sort of like. Oh. It does not look like a Chikorita. Oh, for, oh, what's this now? Oh, yeah, I forgot to go back and say. Oh, you saved my money. That's fine. I'm just going to cheat and get max money anyway, but you saved your heart's content. Here we go. What are we getting here? Up another Brahmin. Hmm. The same form as well. Interesting. <sighs> Only an old protective about you. <sighs> Have a go. Skip. Dead. Took about 10 turns to wipe that out. Find a potion. Nice. I can heal my nice Pokemon. And there's the sleeper mod. I think he gives a sleep talk. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. And bug catchers. I'll probably skip these bugs. In fact, four contacts. I'll skip to here because my Cyndaquil is con my Cyndaquil is poison. So if I skip the whole battle, you would see the poison, and you'd probably wonder what was going on. But you know now, I was poisoned by a Weedle. Now, of course, I'm not taking his number. I don't want to hear about Weedles either. Country. <laughs> oh. That is very strong. Re is the war in lethal. I don't actually quite a lot of damage. I suppose when they're that low it's there isn't probably much of a difference between the SP. I'll maybe try and get another two encounters before I move on. Kangaskull? Oh nice. That sprite's quite nice as well. Oh, this is really going to run quite low. I'll probably call it a day when I get the Pokemon Center in here. Later on today, I'll continue playing on and get part 2 up. Sort of thinking, come part 3, I'll introduce the random level just to make it a bit more difficult. 
mean, the start of the game's boring anyway. There's not much point in it any more difficult and boring at the same time. Say thy bear. That's a gen 3 pull mark, I believe. Let's see what I can do here. Hopefully, it doesn't want any poison moves. That will absolutely wrap me. Wrap. Fair enough. Normal type. Although the, the 5 turn damage might. I want to be off on that, so the end of the road. This fiber's going down pretty easy. Go, uh, you did. Level 11? I think this is not my strongest Pokemon. Don't worry, Santa Claus, I'll get you back to the Poké Center and get you healed. I thought this was over. There has to be some way you can just cancel all these things. I'll have to go through the, wee, the cheat list and see what I can put on. Although from here on out, I don't think there's that many sort of hand-holding things. Ah, uh, Santa Quill died. Rip. Well, anyways, thanks for joining us anyway, and hope you enjoyed the content. We'll try and get the next one up pretty soon anyway, so I'll call it a day here because we're 35 minutes, and stay tuned for the next episode.